Multiple evacuation orders are in place for some Tulare County residents close to a wildfire that broke out early this morning. It's burning in the Tule River Canyon past Springville. Action News South Valley reporter Brian Johnson is live in the canyon with the evacuation orders and what we know about the possible cause of the fire. Brian. Ross Yellen, Warren Highway 190 is still closed from Springville to an area near Ponderosa. So officials are saying that evacuees must take the long way down the mountain, and that's using the Western Divide Highway. Helicopters and air tankers have been circling the Thule River Canyon most of the afternoon, dropping retardant and water on the pier fire, which started early Tuesday morning and has burned at least 1,500 acres on both the north and south sides of the canyon. Public Information Officer Denise Alonzo says there are more than 30 engines assigned to the fire, with more on the way. Some are working to protect structures, others are helping evacuate residents in the area. We have eight hand crews on site, and so those folks will be the ones who will go off the road road and up on the cliffs and try to surround this fire with fire line. Alonzo says the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but the California Highway Patrol says a car crash is the cause. We were there as fire officials were inspecting this burned out car sitting on a slope. The steep terrain is a challenge for firefighters, but officials say dead trees killed by bark beetles or the prolonged drought pose an even bigger threat. We have a lot of dead trees on this forest and in those areas, and those are a big concern. If this fire were to advance into those dead trees, um, it perhaps could become a very fast moving fire that we would have a much harder time suppressing. The communities of Camp Nelson, Cedar Slope, Sequoia Crest, Alpine, Doyle Springs, Washon, and Pierpoint Springs are all under a mandatory evacuation order. Ponderosa is under a voluntary evacuation order. The Red Cross has an evacuation center set up at Porterville College's Student Center. In this trailer, they have enough cots, blankets, and supplies for 100 people. And you're taking a look at some of those flames right now. The pure fire is still 0% contained, so no doubt firefighters are going to be working throughout the night. Live in Tulare County, Brian Johnson, ABC 30, Action News.